Previously noted, 4-25-2017. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here in amazing Grenada, West Indies. And I wanted to show you a variation on the dying bug called a one-arm weighted dying bug. Uh, what you see a, a lot of is one side of the abdomen kind of comes untucked and flares quite a bit. Perhaps if you're trying to lift a kettlebell overhead or trying to push yourself, uh, push weight overhead yourself. Um, this happens even in, on an airplane when you're pushing something into an overhead compartment. You might bias one side or even flex to one side a little bit too much. And that causes a discrepancy in the balance between one side of the abdomen and another. And one of the ways you can work on this is not just doing a traditional uh, dying bug, which is a supine 90-90 ambulatory drill for the abdomen, uh, but you can also add weight to it. So if you've uh, done the dying bug and you feel pretty comfortable with it, you can add weight to your weakened side where you tend to rib flare. So uh, addressing the rib flare, you can find on my duly noted series with the diaphragm. Uh, you might need to do a unilateral uh, diaphragmatic release uh, prior to. You also may want to do some pendulums a la macular dissections, uh, pendular stretches, uh, the things for the uh, TVA and IAO. But uh, the one arm dive bug goes something like this. You bring the weight over to the side that you want to lift onto, and you hold it directly in the air with uh, knuckles to the air, and nice neutral wrist, elbows straight, shoulders straight. It's not in protraction, not in retraction, somewhere right in neutral. If someone were pulling up on your arm, you'd want the, the humerus to sink into the socket of your shoulder blade. Uh, before you even get started, you need to make sure you have neck long and back, as if someone's tractioning it. Chin is tucked, chest stays wide, ribs stay down. You're maintaining your lordotic curve at all times. You're never wanting to come uh, into a, a flat back position. Do not push your low back into the ground. It's a terrible, terrible cue for the dying bug. That's not what we're trying to do. We just don't want to increase your low back curve while this is occurring. So if you feel yourself rib flare or your low back increases in extension, that's a no-no also. So neck long, chin tucked, chest wide, ribs down. And you'll take your nice inhale before lifting the legs. Maintain your points of stability and control your exhale. When you run out of inhale, you re-inhale and then move again. To bring the bell down, always re-inhale first. Come down with the feet, come down with the bell, and roll to your side. You can use whatever weight you like. You can start some, with something very light, or you can go up to something heavy like this is an 18 kilo, which is a perfect amount of weight for me to really feel the, the ribs stay in a nice uh, ribs down position in front without losing my lordotic curve and without compromising any of my dueling cues. Neck long, chin tuck, chest wide, ribs down. Uh, make sure not to push the low back into the ground and make sure and to increase uh, the, knee, the knee to chest position. That hip flexion should be 90 degrees of flexion of the hip and of course 90 degrees of flexion of the knee. Remember your goal is not uh, to ambulate the legs quickly. This is a dying bug, not a living bug. So make sure you do that very, very slowly, always controlling your exhale. Um, if you're not sure which side to put the bell on, maybe talk to a therapist, talk to a trainer, and find out where your discrepancy lies. Also, watching videos of yourself is very, very helpful. I uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a try. Duly noted.